Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osaiwa Mesali and um, it's been a very, very troubling week. We're still working from home um, this week, Oti and I. We've joined, Oti has joined in the, on the conversation tonight. We're going to be discussing a lot of things today. Oti, how are you doing? Um, do you want me to answer that question truthfully or would I, you like the edited version? I think you should just be truthful. I'm exhausted. I am, I, I mean, I don't even know how I feel. I'm just tired. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm sad. I'm, I'm just a mixed bag of emotions right now. It, I'm overwhelmed. I think that's a good summary. I'm, I'm quite overwhelmed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like you, many, many, many Nigerians are just overwhelmed. I mean, I remember on Tuesday night, I just cried. In fact, I cried on Tuesday night up to Wednesday morning. Then again on Wednesday with all the um, burning of vandalizing and all of that. It just, I mean, I literally shut down. I couldn't even think, you know, it was really hard for me. I could not think. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to make a sense of all of these things that are going on. Absolutely. I mean, um, I, I always joke that I have a, a whole house of gray hairs around here. I think they might have tripled in the last couple of days. Um, the amount of fear, you know, going back to things that I haven't experienced in a while, that real fear of not being able to sleep, not knowing, you know, what lurks in the night. I mean, it's been, I'm drained. Let me put it that way. I'm absolutely, absolutely drained. And it's, um, so today we're discussing the protests and the aftermath. You know, we're going to be talking, we'll touch on the governor's speech. We'll touch on, touch on the president's speech. We'll touch on a lot of, you know, all the things that have been going on. And also we have a special guest today um, because in all of these things, let's not lose sight of why, we, why the protest was in the first place. It was because there was police brutality and people actually died. So maybe we'll also bring a story. Let her share her story. I've never heard the story before. I, I, I just know that um, they say um, she lost her brother in the hands of the um, SARS officers. So we will also be hearing from someone that has gone through that loss and what all those protests would mean to her. But first, let's um, see what we found as today's quote. Good governance depends on ability to take responsibility by both administration as well as people. I mean, for me, this quote is really apt. While we have the responsibility of the government, the administration and everything, there's also the responsibility of the people. And I think in all of these things, I just realized that it's like a lot of people forget that we also have a role to play in all of these things. Like when I saw them, I saw people vandalizing and burning all of these things, for goodness sake, who are the people that enter um, BRT buses? Who are the people that enter mass transit? Who are the people that use you know, some of these things? Like the organizations that they, they burnt down, a lot of people lost their jobs. I didn't know families of people like so for me it's just it's just heartbreaking honestly I'm just I don't know I'm a bag of emotions right now but I'm trying as much as possible you know to to just stick to logic and let us be able to dissect these issues without emotions and see you know where we are where we are at and maybe find solutions yeah yeah I mean you are you you've, you've hit the nail on the head I mean I think that I keep thinking back to those um, conversations that we had uh, last weekend on the show. And, you know, I remember talking about not gaslighting the situation. I remember talking about the Nigerian identity. So many things have now come into play and it's, it's so disheartening to see the level of vandalism. I think what even broke me this morning was waking up to see the level of destruction Um, in Lekki, Admiralty is really like almost a commercial district. And to see that, you know, the laundromat where I take my clothes to, all the washing machines have been smashed, the ACs vandalized. And I thought to myself, how did we get here? It it really is, um, we're already coming off the back of COVID-19. We're already coming back of a really tough year for these small businesses, for all businesses, for all people. We're coming off the, the back of a really tough year. So how do we get to this point where people have now been rendered jobless because their places of work have been burnt down and banned? Some businesses may never recover. And whilst we talk about businesses, lives have been lost on all sides. You know, well, so well, it, 
<laughs> on that, Uti. Let's just go on a quick break because it's just the both of us. We're going to have a conversation and trust me, there's a lot to unburden. All right, yeah. so we'll go on a quick break. When we return, um, we'll see what we found in the news. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. 